using hydroponic systems for a couple of years now and then I started to use them for seed starting. There are so many benefits to starting your seeds hydroponically, so I'm going to tell you the reasons why I love using hydroponic systems for seed starting. First off, there's no messy soil to deal with and you don't have to agonize over what seed starting mix you'll use or how to make seed starting mix. With these tabletop hydroponic systems, you use these biodegradable sponges so you don't have to deal with soil and potentially spilling it all over your house. You just pop the seeds in and then put them in the unit and you do want to add a liquid fertilizer to the unit's water reservoir once the seeds germinate so they get nutrients, but that's not a bad trade-off for not having to deal with a mess. The watering is automated, you don't have to worry about overwatering or underwatering, and all you have to do is fill the reservoir when it starts getting empty, and most units will have a light that flashes when the water needs to be refilled. And you don't need to worry about root rot with the plants sitting in water all the time, because there is a pump inside that helps circulate the water to prevent that. You also don't need to set up a bunch of lights because the unit has a light panel perfectly placed over each plant and you can adjust the height of the lights as the plants grow and the lights will turn on and off automatically. Overall, these units make starting seeds easier to set and forget if you have a busy life and if you were to go on a trip or something for a few days up to a week, they'd be fine on their own as long as the water reservoir has been filled all the way up before you leave. I also really like using these units to start seeds because there are some seeds that are harder to start than others. So much can cause seedlings to die off and if I only have a limited amount of seeds because they are rare or expensive, I don't want to risk them not germinating or having something happen to them like dampening off or getting leggy from not getting enough light. So putting them in these units is more of a sure bet and prevents a lot of those issues from happening. They are also great for really tiny seeds or seeds like straw flower that needs to be surface sown and needs light to germinate. Depending on how many devices you have, they really don't take up that much space, which is definitely nice. And I don't know what's going on with Aero Garden. They were kind of the original brand of tabletop hydroponic systems. They announced they were closing down, but then decided to come back. I don't know if they actually are coming back or not, but they had a seed starting tray so you could start more seeds in the units since traditionally with hydroponic units, they are meant to be used to grow food indoors year round or if people didn't have a garden. So most only have a few spots to grow something in, but the seed starting trays have more but smaller slots for a sponge since the idea is that the plants would get potted up when they get large enough. I still direct sow seeds for certain things. For example, you wouldn't want to start root vegetables hydroponically because it just wouldn't work since the sponge would prohibit their growth. I also still use traditional seed starting trays outdoors if I'm mass sowing a lot of seeds that I don't want to waste a sponge on, like things that don't take long to grow, like leafy greens. But for some things like my big ticket plants, my main plants of the summer, like my tomatoes and peppers, I just can't see myself starting seeds any other way because it just takes a lot of the work away for me because I don't have to baby my seedlings with watering and lighting. It's all taken care of with these tabletop hydroponic systems. And I have found that my plants from them have come out stronger. These systems aren't very expensive either, especially with so many different brands coming out with their versions of them. You can get some devices and accessories very inexpensively. I think I have seen some as low as $35, maybe even less. So I definitely think they can be worth it and can be a good investment. So if you're curious or if you have had issues with some seeds or just issues starting seeds in general, I suggest giving hydroponic seed starting a try.